love bugs is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for taking time out for yourself. And I hope you're able to, well, I hope everybody is able to uh, enjoy their uh, Memorial Day holiday. So with that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload our next video. Also, if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact and gifts and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, um, if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and share. Um, you know, especially if they're needing uh, validation or confirmation towards their life path soul purpose or just seeing if they're on the right path and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support it is truly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and um today my video oh i'm about to jump over uh the meditation music i need to turn this up a little bit it has uh you see a uh, divine source meditation align with your source energy divine healing and enlightenment and i will post that link in the description box below it's like i love let me see if it's gonna put it on here Ugh. well it's like um gosh i hate it when it does that but it has buddha on there you can see him you know it's uh and he does so many Im I love uh, seeing Buddha images because it just puts me in a calm state. Um, but my video today is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Oka, sometimes holding on does more damage than letting go. It does. You know, I've seen, um, I've been getting a lot of content. I went on my, um, on my uh, different um, platforms or whatever you want to call them, group, group, uh, group social network you know like on namaste and enlightened empath you know and it was certain posts that is like really hit me you know i meditated earlier and i asked you know whatever you need me to talk about in my videos today can you please have you know <laughs> things come forth for me whatever kind of content and then i heard him say go go to facebook and you know look at all these different posts because i try to find a lot of my thumbnails you know wanting to put uh positive you know, I'm doing a positive video, having positive mu music in there and having positive, you know, posts. I want to have positivity all the way around. But yeah, it's just like, it could be anything. You know, relationships, friendships, addiction, the way you hold on to things that is no longer serving you in that, that light. You know, um, being able to hold on to things is it, just like, you know... Um, just ba basically anything you know i have to really tell myself you know anything that keeps coming up you know in the psyche is something that is preparing itself to set free and a lot of times you know if it keeps dwelling on that same you know that same thought process you have to be able to you know switch it over or just tell yourself it does not have any power over you and at times it visits you and i don't know why i said that because that was one of my content videos as well you know it shouldn't have any more power over you if you're not dealing with those people that is like to say if it's a memory of you know people doing something to you if they're no longer in your life what is the purpose of holding that there and i have to tell myself that i have to ask myself that a lot you know what what purpose is it going to hold is that you know if i want it negative that's that's the only thing it's going to do you know if you know you're heading towards things darkness well darkness and ego will keep triggering you keep triggering you um of thinking about those things and those are the things you need to let go of you know you are becoming you you are enlightened and awakened to mold yourself into a different person and it's like your energy is like i said in my other video your energy and everything is going into shock because you are not 
you're trying to convert yourself on doing things a lot differently than you always have. You can't keep doing the same things that you did in your old life, you know, when you sleep that you do in your awakened life because nothing's going to work that way. You can't, <laughs> there's no way you can go about it healing that way, you know. Um, it's just like I had to, you know, I'd be preaching to myself because it's just like, I tell everybody, just I have to constantly tell myself your blessings are so much bigger than the issues that you're currently having. You know, that's all it is, is a distraction away from making you lose focus on the things that you're trying to aim towards, the things you're working hard for. You know, yes, it can be hard at times. Yes, it can really put you in a dark place. But it's just you have to be able to detach yourself because you know you are working hard on being a better version of your true self, being be, being more authentic, right, walking that, that path of truth. You have to be able to do that. You have to be able to stay focused. And I have to tell myself that, like, look, <laughs> stop thinking about that stuff. Is no longer affecting you. You know you're not going to have to deal with it long. So why don't you just let it go? And as soon as I said that, obviously I must be on the right thing because my phone lit up. You know, saying like, ding. You know, but it, it's just like you have to be able to do that because holding on to it is not going to keep you in depression. Your frequency is going to constantly be low. And it's going to make you have anxiety, you know, panic attacks, also depression. And it's just like more that you do, the more negative vibes you're bringing towards your way. You know, a lot of times ego will keep constantly telling you different things. You know, if you, you have to be able to mute that. You have to be able to mute it. Or even when it comes to people, you know, if you already know this person ain't right for you and you already know with you being an empath, you get that gut feeling. You know, it, it was just like with me. There's people that I truly love. I did not want to detach myself from. But if I'm seeing them in the spiritual world and I see how they're looking at me different or, you know, they're being very snippy or being very crotchety, you know, something like that, you know, and impact, I mean, not impact, but universe is telling you, look, I know you care about this person, but, you know, they were only supposed to be there for a season. Don't put lifetime expectations on that because it's like, even though the friendship started out right, you know, things shifted. It wasn't meant for that person to stay in your life like that. And I mean, I'm like, damn. But I really like them. And it was just like, yeah, but they're, you know, look at what they're doing to you. They're ignoring you. You know, and it's not like you're really saying anything. You're sending positive things towards them. You know, you know that they're going through times. But it's just like when you know you get in touch with them on the spiritual world, you know, and they're, you know, they're acting different. And you know you've been having this gut feeling for a while, but you would just try to say, well, let me see if it's, you know, was it something I was not paying attention to or is this something that's really happening? And you know your gut, your gut feeling is telling you, you need to let them go. You know, especially when it comes to a relationship, if, you know, well, friendship and relationship is the same thing. It's just different kinds. You know, every time I say something, I'll phone light up, but it's just like when you're in a narcissistic relationship there's friends i have parted away from and i had friends part away from me you know when i was in my toxic relationship because i didn't want to listen kept on thinking well my heart is pure this is you know i'm trying to help them change you know us as empaths we have a problem we have a very bad problem of thinking we can heal and change everybody but you have to you have to know and know only that people are only willing to change when they're wanting to change Especially if it's somewhere narcissistic, for them to be able to change, they have to admit that they're not perfect. They're not going to do that. <laughs> they were not going to do that because they will find every fault that falls into you. And then when they no longer have you under their control, they will have you, them looking at, you know, other people looking at you like you have an issue. So you already know these things are something that you need to walk away from. They are no longer healthy for you. You're shedding that faucet. They were here for that season to bring you whatever they're supposed to educate you with. And then you're supposed to part your ways. Pray for them and keep doing you. <laughs> but other than that, you still going to have to go where you go. Because sometimes holding on to things like that will stunt your blessing. I've, you know, I've heard my mom used to tell me that all the time. It's like, just for the company you keep, it will stop your blessings. There are certain things you're supposed to keep to yourself, which I had to learn the hard way many a times. Because like I told y'all before, you know, with my situation, 
people start asking a lot of questions. And even when I'm thinking, oh, they're being genuine, no, they have a hidden motive for the, the questions they're asking because they want to go ahead and block you on that. Even though a dumbasses is not noticing when they're doing, they're working overtime for that. And I'm just like, while you working overtime on trying to stop my blessings, why don't you work overtime on yourself for you to be able to get your blessings? Because you messing with mine and worrying about mine is going to mess you up. <laughs> you know, and people don't realize that. But, you know, hey, it's a lesson learned with you and it's a lesson learned with them. Because, you know, when they're on their way of trying to do something for themselves and wondering why things are all messed up, then they'll know the reason why. You can't sit up here and stop somebody else's blessing but be so catering to yours and thinking, hey, I, I, you know, I don't want to get this in your life. I said, you know, people don't think that way. And it's sad when people do that to you it's just like you're praying for something you want something in your life too now you wouldn't think it was fair if somebody stood up here and blocked your stuff so what makes you think <laughs> you you had the right to do that to somebody else so it's just like lately i've cut so many people out of my life some people just you know don't cut themselves out of my life i'm like okay you know it is not gonna move mountains for me it's not you know i just uh not to be in a mean way but i set boundaries up for myself you know, everybody goes through things. You know, I give people their space. But when there are certain things that is starting to come up in that spider sense of yours, you need to follow it. Because if not, this that energy, whatever they're carrying, is going to travel back to you. You know, any of that stuff. So it's just like, I'm just, because my daughter was like, Mom, I don't have as many friends as I used to. I said, the only people I talk to is the, my, my Facebook family. Other than that, on my private life, I don't talk to nobody. You know, other than me doing one-on-one -on -one and helping people with my, you know, I call it empath counseling. Because it's like helping them trying to find their way, you know, to heal, to learn more about themselves. Those are the communications I keep up with for this time. You know, I'm very introverted, and it's just like I'm like that Drake song, No New Friends. You know, when people are like, hey, we should be friends. Oh, Lord, here we go. <laughs> you know, because it's just like, uh, it, it's like a month trial error for me. Nobody really stays in my life longer than like a few months, and then all of a sudden the true colors start sprouting out. You know, and it's, it's sad, even though there, I know there's some people out there that truly want the best for me, you know, and that's fine but there's also people that you know tries to stunt my blessings as well so it's just like I appreciate the company that I keep right now and I'm very blessed to have y'all in my life it means more than I can even put into words of having you in my life and you know we have to be able to take care of self you know you can pray for people that are going through times of sorrow but you know you, you can't help everybody you can't that's one thing you can't do but when it's time for you to let go of things, let them go. <laughs> let them go. If it has something to addiction, you know, uh, any kind of addiction. It doesn't have to be, you know, a drug. It, it can be the way you think. If it's not in a good light, judgment. You know, we do that. That's, you know, that's, we are all by fault on that. We judge people one way or another, you know, but I said, I've been working on that. I'm going to work in progress. So, you know, I just, you know, I'm at this time where I'm, you know, I'm better in myself. You know, I help the people that need to help. You know, I gravitate towards people. You know, everything is a learning experience for us. You know, it all goes both ways. Um, working on myself, you know, I really, truly love that because it's like every day I'm a better version of myself and I'm, you know, I'm thriving on that. And, you know, I tell y'all too, especially when you tell me the things that you have been through and we've been you know conversing for months now it is just like a blessing when i've i mean even your energy has shifted in a big way you know and it's just like when when you get those gut feelings or universe starts sending you those vibes do what they say do because if they step in it's not going to be a good it's not going to be a good experience i promise you i have to tell people that you know if the universe has to keep showing you and showing you they will put you in positions the well they'll start cutting off everything in your grasp I'm telling you and you don't want that <laughs> so I hope you were able to resonate with content in this video drop me a line and let me know uh, if you relate to it any kind of way or give me your uh, positive feedback it's all greatly appreciated uh, like and subscribe hit that notification bell give me a thumbs up and even share and um, 
send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days i pray for y'all each and every day and my post notification goes out to uh richard mora much love to you uh have happy holidays and be responsible for everything you do so i'll see you in my next video much love peace be well